In this video, I'm going to show you how you can open up recent documents through the doc on the Mac. Let's go to my Mac. So my doc down below has all of my favorite applications. It also shows any of my open applications. If I want to open up a recent document, what we generally do is we open up the application. Let's go over two numbers here. I open up the application, and then from here what I can do is go to Recents, and then I can view all of my recent documents. I can also do that by going up to File in the menu bar, and then we go over to Open Recent. And again, I can see all of my recent documents. It shows up to 10 documents here. If I go to my Pages, you're going to see I have the same thing. Click on it. Here are my recents. And again, if I go up to File, I can view all of my recents. So that is one way of doing it, and it's probably the way that most of us open up our recent documents. But there is another way, a faster way to do this. What you can do is long press on the icon in the dock here, and when I do that, you're going to see all of the recent documents that have opened for that particular application. So in this case here, here are my three recent documents for pages. Let's go over to Numbers. I go over to Numbers here, I long press on it, and again I can see my recent documents. To open up any of them, I just select it, and it opens up that document. To clear that list, what you can do is go up to File in the menu bar, and then when you go over to Open Recent, what you can do is clear the menu, and then it'll start over. So if you have a lot of documents in there that you no longer need in there, what you can do is just start over by clearing the menu. Now this doesn't work on every application. What I found out is it needs to have a separate window for each document. When I go over to Notes here, I can't open up my recent notes. That's because all the notes are together in one window. Same thing with Reminders. I long press on it, I can't open up my recent reminders, because all of my lists are in a single window. But when you're dealing with an application that has separate windows, in some cases what you may be able to do is just long press on the application in the dock and then select which document you want to open, which recent document you want to open. So that's an easy way to open up recent documents for different applications with the Mac. You just long press on that application in the dock. It doesn't work for all applications, but from what I've discovered is if it has a separate document window, there's a good chance that you can just long press on that application in the dock and then select from your recent documents to open them up. So that's an easy way to open up your recent documents on the Mac. Now, if you found this tip helpful, what you may want to do is like this video. When you like the video, YouTube will go and recommend it to other people, so maybe I can help other people. You also may want to subscribe to my channel. I also have more videos on my site, dancetutorials.com. I have over 1,600 videos on the Mac, iPad, iPhone, Apple Watch, and Apple TV. So if you like what you see here, you can like it, subscribe to it, or even go to dancetutorials.com. I hope I was able to help in your quest for making your life easier on your Apple device.